Hello, and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Patricia Tomlinson, curator at the Appleton Museum of Art. Today, in honor of Women's Equality Day, I'd like to introduce you to an extraordinary German artist, Katie Kollwitz. She was born in 1867 and showed aptitude for art at a very early age, and her father really encouraged her in that pursuit. In 1886, she started to formally study art and attended the Berlin Academy for Women Artists. One of the things that's really interesting about Katie Kollwitz is she was a woman not only ahead of her time, but she was a woman that really kind of seemed to have it all. She had a blossoming career, very successful, a lot of critical praise, in addition to having a home and family and having children and being married for 49 years. Her husband was supportive of her career. She never stopped producing, which for that time period is really extraordinary. When we look at the piece that the Appleton owns, it is entitled Los Bruch, which means outbreak. And this is one of a series of seven prints that to Katie Kolwitz's eyes, documents the 1525 Peasants' War. There were a lot of injustices towards peasants. The feudal system was still active and going, and some peasants, to protest their treatment, rose up and tried to overthrow this system. Unfortunately, they were very brutally beaten back, which is part of what she was trying to document as well. Katie Kolwitz was very sensitive to the injustices in the world, and she really wanted to try to document things like this in her artwork. When we look at this particular piece in detail, we see on the far right-hand side of the picture plane a male figure that almost has a mask-like look to his face. This is common in her artwork, and she's trying to show these individuals almost just as a mask. They are together and united to overthrow their treatment. When we look a little further on the far left-hand side of the picture plane, we see a female figure with her mouth wide open in some type of scream or perhaps a yell rushing forward to try to overcome this maltreatment. And of course, in the foreground, we see a female figure with her head thrown back, her arms raised up to the sky, urging the mass behind her forward to protest their mistreatment. This female figure is very common in her artwork. You see her appear a lot of times and she's sort of emblematic of this overcoming of obstacles, overcoming of mistreatment. In addition, Katie Kolwitz lived through both the First and Second World War and sadly died just a few days between the end of World War II. So she was producing all through this until around 1932 when the Nazis shut her down. They didn't obviously want her to show mistreatment of people. They didn't want her to blatantly describe what they were doing. So they completely shut her down, confiscated all her artwork for sale in commercial galleries, and really tried to just put a stop to her documenting the horrors and atrocities that they were doing. This is the time when Katie Kolwitz's artwork really took off in America. She became incredibly popular in the United States. And in incidentally, she knew a lot of really leading lights of intellectualism and of the art world. She actually knew Albert Einstein. She knew some of the most famous German artists of their time. And she was really an extraordinary person. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to sharing more Art Minutes with you soon.